just got done fishing a little bit ago and decided to take a little quick hike. Um, we're hiking to the Pinnacle in Westminster and never been here before, I don't think. If I was, it was a really long time ago. So we're going to check it out. A lot of snow up here, so it's going to be probably slow going. Well, supposedly the trails are maintained and groomed, probably because people cross-country ski, snowshoe, that sort of thing. So let's check it out. All right, so here we are. We're going to take this trail out and then make this loop here and then come back. It's about 3.8 miles. This is my pack weight with water, food, micro spikes, and extra layers. All right, so I had to stop and put micro spikes on. Um, yeah, I don't feel like taking a spill. There's some ice you can see here. Uh, it's late winter. Well, the calendar says it's spring, but yeah. Look around. It still looks like winter here, even though it's uh, the 30th of March. So, anyway, onward and upward. So on a good day, there's supposed to be some really good views from the top of this pinnacle, what they call the pinnacle. It's not super high, you know, somewhere around 1,800 feet maybe, but it uh, has a commanding presence in the hills around it, so it makes for some awesome views. However, you can see behind me, it's awful foggy, so pretty sure we're not going to see much of anything. But it's a nice day to be out, about 45 degrees, and uh, yeah. So on a good day, there's supposed to be some really good views from the top of this pinnacle, what they call the pinnacle. It's not super high, you know, somewhere around 1,800 feet maybe, but it uh, has a commanding presence in the hills around it, so it makes for some awesome views. However, you can see behind me, it's awful foggy, so pretty sure we're not going to see much of anything. But it's a nice day to be out, about 45 degrees. Let's take you along for a second. It's uh, a variety of terrain. You climb a little bit, then levels off, sort of, kind of rolls along. And then it'll climb again before we get to the summit. So, pretty foggy. Can't really see a whole lot. The terrain out here is pretty neat. It's a mature forest, but not really old growth at all. There's not really much left of old growth left in Vermont since 90% of Vermont was deforested before 1900 for sheep farming. And Vermont was one of the world's leading producers in wool and supplied a majority of the wool for uniforms for the U.S. Army and World War One. So there's your history tidbit for the month, or so. So yeah, this is it. We'll get back in a bit. Here's just another little 
throwback to the farming days of yesteryear. You can see the stone wall that goes along. This goes back to the sheep farming days. A lot of history in here. Uh, Westminster was chartered originally in 1735 by residents of Taunton, Massachusetts. Uh, and it wasn't settled for years after that, but it's got a lot of history. There's a couple of cellar holes here from back in the 1800s. The house has gone by. And the remnants are still here and the forest has grown up around them. All right, so we're coming up to the pinnacle, and it's set up for backpacking. There's a privy. And then, we a shelter. Which, uh, You have to make reservations for, but if it wasn't so foggy, I'm sure this would be an amazing overlook. So here's the shelter. It's pretty nice. A little fireplace, windows. Loft. There's the uh, views that you can see in the ridge line. So there you can see, if you're looking out, you can actually see parts of the long trail and the AT. And this is actually what should be a view, but it's not. It's all socked in with fog today. So this is what we've got. Here's my gripe for the day. If you have dogs, leash them on the trail. There's two dogs. There's another one that went back down the trail that way. Uh, I don't know if they're friendly or not, and I'm not really inclined to find out, but uh, yeah, these dogs are just running free on the trail. I love dogs as much as the next person, but I don't want to run into them like this out in the trail and not know anything about them. So here's where Catula micro spikes pay off. This is pretty slick. And yet, I can walk through here with relative ease because they provide sure traction on these slippery slopes. Otherwise, I would be surely on my backside a number of times already. Oh, so that is all. And what do we have here? A little kiosk. All right, so I'm gonna take you along here for a second. We're on this ridge. And it drops down on that side. And then it's kind of a drop over here, but then there's another little ridge paralleling it. You'll be able to see it better in a second. So you can see it drops down into a little ravine. And then there's another ridge paralleling it there. 
So it's just pretty neat topography. Um, definitely want to try this again in the summer. Looks like it'd be a pretty neat spot to hike. There's actually a lot more trail than what I'm taking today. The part I'm taking today is just a little loop, but this quite a few miles of trails out here. So you can start at one end and run through, I think three different towns, maybe four. So I've actually turned it into a, a decent weekend trip. All right, help for now. This was definitely a worthwhile trip and I'd like to do it again in the summer.